hello everyone welcome back to a new video so in this video i'll show you how can we call a particular scenario from another scenario in a same feature file from the same feature file and also uh, how to call the scenario one scenario from another scenario in a different feature file okay so in most of your cases you might have some repeated test so either you can uh, move that uh, scenario into a separate feature file and you can call that feature file external feature file from your uh, the uh, test feature right that we have uh, already learned from another video but in some cases you might have to call a particular scenario from another scenario on the same feature file right so in this video we will see how can we achieve that So I've created a feature uh, file with uh, two scenarios and I've uh, provided some tags also. So as you know, we can provide tags by using this annotation at the rate and the tag name is tag one for the first scenario and the uh, second scenario it is tag two. Okay. And let me ra just run this uh, file. All other feature files are ignored. So only this feature should be run. Okay. we can see uh, there are two scenarios uh, and we have given this is first test and this is second test right we have two scenarios okay now i am going to call the first scenario from the second scenario for that what we can do you can do like this uh, if something if that scenario is returning we can show it in this uh, result variable and you can call by like this call read off and you need to give the same feature file name that is in the chords okay single chord sample one dot feature and then put at and give your tag name that is uh, tag one and close okay now let us run it again now if when you look at the result you can see first it's printed this is first test and then this is second test and at this particular line we are calling the first feature first scenario again right so this is first test line is printed again right so it is printed twice this is first test and even if you put a ignore tag over here now Let's see if we can call that scenario. So in that case also it is called because in the first case when it comes to the first scenario since it is ignored it did not run so that is not printed and then it uh, it ran the second scenario so we got this is second test and then we call the first scenario by uh, uh by identifying the tag name that is this one and it, then this this is first test is called printed so you can uh, call any scenario even it is marked as uh, ignore tag okay and this ignore uh, tag you can uh, use whenever uh, you specify that in the test runner file and now let's see how to call this particular scenario from another scenario i mean from another feature file you go to the sample 2 dot feature i've created uh, two more scenarios over here this is third test and this is fourth test okay and here you can see uh, we can call in the fourth test we can in fourth scenario we can call the uh, uh, some uh, scenario from the sample one dot feature sample one dot feature okay and when you go to sample one dot feature we have two tag tag one and tag two so i want to call the first one so let us give tag one over here and now let me remove the signal command and uh, we don't have to run this one for now okay and now sample two should be run
okay so this is uh, when you go to the sample 2 dot feature since this is signal this scenario won't be run and so this is fourth this should be printed first and then it is calling uh, the first scenario from the sample one dot feature that is the scenario having the tag tag one in a feature file called sample one that means this one right so this is first test is called printed so this is how you can call a scenario from uh, another scenario in the same feature file as well as from the other feature file okay hope you have liked this video if so uh, please don't forget to click the like button and uh, if you're watching my videos uh, without subscribing please go ahead and subscribe so we'll see in our next video thanks for watching bye thank you